Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you I work under Mac OS X Lion. Let's get started. So here on my desktop, I have a file called Test. So I'm going to open this up here, and this is just me goofing off for this demo, actually. So here it is. As you can see, this is the new version of Pages. I have this little drop-down up here where I can lock, duplicate, or browse all the versions of this. Well, this is, you know, about versions, obviously. So let me go on and show you what versions looks like. So if I browse all versions, it's going to pop open this Time Machine-like interface. And I can go back in time. So here's what the last version of it looks like. And I kind of had it looking like this. And I think that's probably actually the same version. I don't know what's different exactly here, but I can go back over here and I can click save this version, which was a little while ago. And as you can see, I had just recently added this page. So I don't have these images in here. And then if I go back a little bit further, I can see you know where I started at with just one page. I can restore this. I can be done with it. Well, I can say, you know, like move things around like two here. So say I want to take this image and I can move things around in this version. It's really interesting because this is all live. So this is really cool. So I can go back even further to the very beginning and say, well, I really like this and I don't like this. And so let's say that I don't want this. And that's that. And now it says it's edited, which is interesting. So you can actually edit it right in here. And I can save this. And now that's a new version, so Command S will save a new version, which is interesting. And there's no more save as. When you go to File over here, let me show you this. There is no more save as. You can say have, have saved this version, but there is no save as anymore, which is interesting. So now, you know, whenever I quit, it's gone. And say I go into uh, Launchpad here and hit Pages, it's going to launch back up exactly where I was. Let me show you even some more here. Like say I highlight some text, and I quit this, so, so it's done. And I'll load it back up again. So we'll go back in here and load up pages. Or you could easily have this on the dock. It's supposed to actually, if you actually shut down your Mac with this text highlighted, it will still be here, which is interesting. So that is part of the auto resume thing. I was going to tell you about if you shut down your Mac and come back on, you know, this text will still be highlighted. Everything I've tested it, it works well. Let me show you this in another app here. So let's open up Keynote. So I'm just going to use the Spotlight for this because I just love Spotlight. And as you can see, it's going to open up something that I don't even have saved. Like, this isn't even saved. So I can type in Program 94. And I can quit this. It did not prompt me to save anything. I just hit Command-Q. It did not prompt me to save. Now I'll open Keynote back up. Okay? It did not prompt me to save. Say my power just went off. I'm back exactly where I started. I, I, I did not miss a beat of what happened. So now I can continue working. As you can see, my inspector popped up right where I wanted it. Oops. Right where I had it say I open up colors and fonts here and we have this all going here. I can say bye Jacob and we go in here and we say hello and then we add a point we'll call it this point A. And then let's say my power goes out and this quits. Let's say this all goes out. Now I can go back in I launch it back up and this is exactly where I left off. This is amazing. It auto save that I just hit Command Q and it's exactly back where I left off. I have fonts, I have colors exactly where I place them. It's on the exact same slide and it works really well. So that's this. And then if I do want to save it, there is no you know save as like I said. So you actually just hit save. And then you get your pop down menu where you can do this and I can say uh, test keynote and we'll tick let's test key, hit save. And now we're starting a version up already. So now I have this first version. Now let's say, let's go in some images here. So I'm gonna copy this image from here. Uh, let's go to this one. We're gonna make this a blank slide. We're gonna add this in here. We're gonna bump it up a little bit in size by pinching and zooming here. And let's save that. And then let's decide that, okay, we need something here. So I'm gonna copy this, drop this in here. We'll do a little bit of an alpha. This will be a terrible alpha, but we'll do an alpha. And there we go. So now that's the way that I want this version. So now I've got this. So now I've saved it again. And now I can easily go into versions just like I showed you. Browse all versions if I click it right. And it's going to open up versions simply and easily. Here's the past two versions I've had. It tells me when I've done them exactly. And I can go back here by clicking that. Say I like this original version. I saved better. Hit restore. 
it pops over the new one and you're back exactly where you started and that works really well that's a really cool feature business users are going to love this and let me show you here real quick full screen with iWork here so if I hit full screen it's going to load up in full screen if I had a wider slide it would go wider obviously and you know I can easily have my inspector and stuff open here and it just looks and it works really nice I think so I can have all these open actually here so I could have everything open over here in this spot and not has to take up any space and then I can easily swipe back and I'm back here mission control and there it is pretty simple so this is what I work looks like I really hope you guys like this I don't really see a purpose in showing you guys numbers I don't really know a whole lot about numbers actually it's not something I use very often that you know people that use spreadsheets say they don't really like it you know, professionals like accountants and things so i'll go on and open it for you just to show you what it looks like in under mac os 10 lion in, in case you're a professional wanting to upgrade here it is uh nothing really earth shattering here still goes full screen just by the click of the button we can easily make more cells have a gigantic spreadsheet here 27 inch spreadsheet pretty awesome and this is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, you're automatically entered to win my giveaway. So, uh, which my giveaway is, in case you don't know, that whenever you go on program94.com and vote for what you want to win, there'll be a giveaways tab. You click on that and you vote for what you want to win. Once you vote, you know, the winning thing when I reach 500 subscribers will be given away to you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'm closing everything out now, and I'll be seeing you in the next video talking more about Lion.